We're about to go on the longest hard walk in the history of hard walks. Now let's get up and start walking. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're starting at Manuel's alma mater. mater. If you want to show us around. Yeah, so over here we got the, uh, <laughs> the library, obviously. Oh, she was in your class? Yeah, but she's, she was a year younger. So oh, okay, yeah. She's graduating, you know. Yeah, we're at Columbia. It's the first time that Manuel sees it. Um, I've been here all the time, so many times. <laughs> I used to come and picnic here, like in between classes. No, we'll stab with the bougie. Before we start walking, reasoning for starting here is it's not that I'm gonna ignore like the rest of the top of Manhattan. I think it goes to like 217th, 240th Street, and we are starting on 116th. It sounds like that's half of it, okay? But in reality, <laughs> we don't wanna pass away during this video, so. I wanna just be spontaneous and like discover some new places while I'm walking around. So I don't wanna just go on a straight path. Like the goal isn't just to go from the top to the bottom in one straight line and just like kill my body. That's that's not the point. I'm trying to, you know, just be like, oh, do we take a left or right? Like wh what are we gonna to discover today? You know what I mean? No straight lines here. We're just gonna do a little, a little wiggly on down. And we're also starting on the west side because I feel like I'm just familiar with the east side. You know, that's my, that's, that's my land. No, I'm kidding. But I feel like I spend most of my time on the east side, so I wanted to start on the west just to, you know, see something different. Maybe we'll discover new food places, new parks that we've never been to before. And after all, I've lived here for almost four years already or more. We're going on five years here and I feel like there's so much that I haven't seen. We're just gonna do a whole lot of discovering. I think from here all the way down to Seaport and Fidei is like two hours, 45 minutes. It might take us like four hours because we're gonna stop along the way and get some food and try to find restrooms somewhere. <laughs> I feel like we may have to be your boo throughout this journey, so... <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's start to walk. Let's start. restaurants and businesses or over here is Riverside Park. I mean I've never been to that park. We can go take a peek. Let's go take a peek. when I was 16 and it's just how I remember it like I, re I remember feeling every single day like I was in a movie and I'm not sure if it was just the area or if it was because it was just my first time staying here and I was like in awe of the city but it's so beautiful and calm and I've heard that it gets like scary at night but right now it feels super nice The Christmas fall energy is like immaculate. Look at this. Imagine when they light that up in Christmas. That's so cute. 
love it here. There's this bus that I take and it goes all along First Avenue. If you look out the window, you can like really see how all the architecture changes and stuff and how every single area has like its own personality. So I feel like that's really something that we're gonna, we're gonna capture here. And I'm excited to see it. I just ate breakfast, but I'm already hungry. All this, all this calorie burn. Let's see. Should we get a bagel or like something else? You get a bagel. I kind of want like a sweet bagel. Mm. Let me do some research. Let me do some research. Imagine they have a lot of old good things, very overly priced vintage items, but we're gonna go in and look. What's this? I don't know what that is, but. <laughs> Rating of the West Side Bagel. Oh, good. Very fire. Good. They gave it to us super warm. Cream cheese, fire. saying that we might be right next to the building where they film murders in the building it does look so much like it we're walking up to it so it turns out this is not it and we passed it like 10 blocks ago but it really looks like it hey, it Dad. really looks like it wait look <laughs> it looks super similar but it, that's not it and it was a private property so i couldn't film inside but it could be like the little sister building. I don't know. <laughs> How many Starbucks do you think that we've passed by? <laughs> three every block? I've seen like three total. Three total? There's so seen. many and maybe I just noticed them because I've been wanting Starbucks all week and I have forced myself not to buy one But I'm promising myself that once we get to the High Line we pass it and we get to 14th Street I'm gonna go to the Starbucks reserve. I don't know about you, but I want to see what like seasonal seasonal drinks that they have You don't know which ones they have yet, right? No, she didn't I, don't, know yet. I don't know which seasonal drinks they have, but I want to go like check out oh. to see <laughs> How are you doing? My legs are trying to hurt. Really? Yeah. 
<laughs> no, we're not even halfway. <laughs> walking through Central Park because I think you guys are tired of the Central Park content that I feed you like every other week so we, we, we go there all the time we don't need to go through there it's just a bunch of trees it's pretty though it is I love it so much but they see that in like every other video of mine so Came here in the eighth grade. We were on fifth time, right? We were told to meet at a specific time at the Big Apple logo, right? Right there. <laughs> Huge. Can't miss it. Two friends. They called me crying. Manuel, we don't know how to get back. <laughs> and the only instruction that we got from our teachers, you can only go down this fifth fifth app, right? Whenever you're gonna come back, all you have to do is go against the traffic, right? That's all they told us. I was like, yeah, that's perfect. I mean, it's still confusing. Like, you're 14 years old. I feel like it's I a little know, bit. But... I was like, what do you mean you're lost? Just go against the traffic. And eventually they got And they fun. made it? Yeah, eventually they Fun fact, we went out of the range where we could be. Oh, really? Oh, like you and the boys or yeah. what? Manuel had only been here that one time in eighth grade before deciding to move here. Well, after he got into Pace, he, I mean Columbia, I mean, he came to seek the campus and then he just moved here. So he had only been here in eighth grade and then that one time to come see the campus. I forget. He risked it all to be here with me. I came to see this like mural thing that is on top of Louis Vuitton. It's not a mural, it's like a big sticker. And now there's a super cool like pixely Lego looking. I can try. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> He's interrupting. Now there's a Christmas tree that looks like it's made out of Legos or something. It looks really cool. <gasps> That's nice. Hey, ladies, how about a nice fur coat for the holidays? That's nice. Okay, now let's go into the Louis Vuitton. Like a little fur. We are on Fifth Ave, so like technically, if we don't go shopping, it would be. A crime. No, I'm just kidding. I have, I think I have like three dollars in my bank account. <laughs> it is made out of Legos. This is where we started. So we walked next to Central Park. <laughs> We're gonna have to stop to eat soon because I'm starting to get a little, oh, no. a little fatigued. I'm hungry. <laughs> if only we would have walked faster and we would have been in Chinatown because I'm craving dumplings. Guji, should we go in or do you think they would? They would kick us out. <laughs> they would kick us out for being imposters. <laughs> Lots of these nuts for nuts in this area from here all the way to Times Square. Many nuts for nuts. Manuel's employer! Are you getting shy or what? <laughs> Not trying to be annoying at all. One of my number one favorite memories ever is graduating here. Okay, that's just something that's gonna be locked in my mind forever. And every time I pass by here, I just picture like seeing my family 
and seeing all the graduates in purple out here like it was just the most epic thing ever because the first time around uh, when I graduated my graduation got cancelled because of COVID then I literally did grad school just so that I could graduate here so it was literally one of the best moments of my life <laughs> I didn't want to come to Times Square, but I'm doing it for you guys. No, also we really want to go to get Los Tacos number one. We're doing it for y'all. We're taking one for the team and like truly if we skipped it over, we would be frauds. Look, another, another nuts for nuts. What did I tell you? Too many rappers passing out their CDs. It's, it's too much. <laughs> Fun fact about Times Square if you're interested. There's these guys that like always do a bunch of little tricks and flips and they're always like dancing in the center and everyone crowds around them to like see the big trick that they hype up this whole time, like hours and hours being like, hey, we're gonna do this big flip. We're gonna jump over 20 people and they never do it. Spoiler, they never do it. We have stood there for hours whenever like people come and visit us. It's a classic, like we just have to stand there and watch. Tacos numero uno, for sure, best Number tacos one. in the city. Absolutely amazing, and that's coming from an actual Mexican. Also, absolutely west of Times Square, all the way down to like 34th Street, the most chaotic area. It's my least favorite area to walk through. It gives me so much anxiety. There's too much chaotic energy there, and I feel like I have to have my pepper spray out at all times. Ugh. And it feels like it's 10 p.m because it's pitch black already outside, but it's only five. Physically, we're doing okay. <laughs> we're, um, uh, my, knee. <laughs> my knees are starting to hurt and Manuel's heels hurt. My heels. I feel like also my hamstrings are starting to burn and then my heavy bag keeps like slamming my thigh, so I feel like I'm bruising myself. But uh, the tacos revived us and I feel like we're gonna, we're gonna make it. We're gonna do it not only for us, but for y'all, the subscribers, of course. <laughs> now we're walking to the High Line, like by the vessel. I've never been to the High Line at night. Well, it's not night, it's 5 p.m. pitch black, but still, I've never been there while it's dark. So I'm excited to see if it's like nicely lit up and maybe it's like romantic, it's, it's gonna be giving Christmas energy. Oh. But my Starbucks awaits me, don't forget! <laughs> We're gonna recreate this. Okay, now Sam's gonna recreate it. <laughs> Ooh, there's chairs! We should go sit. <laughs> Street. 
Glass is tilted so you feel like you're gonna fall. I don't say it. it's gonna get, it's gonna freak me out. <laughs> it's gonna freak me out. There's this installation at the High Line. This I did plan on doing because my mom sent it to me. Oh that girl's eyes are so pretty. You put your eyes through this like little camera and then it displays them on this like LED screen for the whole street to see. It's super cool. Oh wait! Go, go, go! <laughs> Supposedly, Ariana Grande lived in this apartment complex that looks like a spaceship with Pete Davidson. Supposedly. What are they, what are they watching? Oh, I know. Is that? I don't know. <laughs> So I don't know if I already made it obvious throughout this video, but I will literally, we will literally do anything <laughs> for this vlog. Okay, let's make that clear. So if you have any other adventurous things that you want us to try here in New York, let me know because we get bored and you know that I will, I will do it. Okay, we're continuing. Let's get it. We're walking to Phi Dai. We are gonna just take the fastest route this time because it is 8 p.m. I think so, is it? Okay, it's 7.20 p.m. But even the fastest route takes us through West Village, kind, kind of through Soho, Tribeca. So it, it's still gonna be cool. We see the light. <laughs> we're coming for you, world trade. <laughs>
If you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed and that you have the notifications on and that you like this video. Come on. This effort, like it has to result in a like from you. At least. At least. Something I've noticed so far from the West Village slash Tribeca girlies is how put together they look. All of them are wearing a low slicked bun with the gold hoops, the gold jewelry, leather pants or slacks with some booties and like a blazer and they're all just looking so put together and I feel, I feel very Lower East Side. We passed the number streets! We're officially in the name streets. We're on West Houston. Yes, it's Houston, not Houston. And the way the tone of the conversations like change depending on where you are. Free entertainment provided by the city of New York. Okay, the annoying girlie went into her bougie apartment. She was talking on the phone on FaceTime with probably one of her friends and she was like, I've been wearing flats all day long and just standing and my feet are dying and it's like, it's giving, I need heels. It's giving peasant wearing flats and like, I need to look fabulous ASAP. Or maybe we're just getting annoyed of everything because of our physical state. About 30 more blocks. started actually well like we took the subway from here up yeah. and then walked all the way down indeed the longest hot girl walk in the history of hot girl walks last stop though is battery park which is like at the very the very very bottom but i see the lights now okay so this the little trees over here are cute oh yeah we decided that for sure the businesses that we saw the most i saw lots of h&ms lots of starbucks obviously Sweet green. There was so many sweet greens. That one was a little bit surprising. I saw so many Equinox. Oh yeah. I even I even walked into an Equinox <laughs> at the very beginning. I didn't show because I thought it was a deli and I wanted to pee. So I walked in all cash. I was like, oh, where's the restroom? And I was like, oh. Yeah, the, the little cafe. We were like, oh, yeah, it's just a deli. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like fully like a private cafe for like Equinox members. I don't know. I just saw like two little ratatouilles cross right there. <laughs> that is a rat! That was a huge rat! That was horrible! In total, we walked 11.9 miles. That's it, it was kind of glitched, so it, it might have just been the 12 full miles. Manuel was wearing his heart rate monitor, so it's more accurate to him, but he approximately burned 2,200 calories. If only we did this every day. The results 11.9. It was fun. We did it. The weather was incredible. Yeah. Perfect day to do this. 
Yeah, um, <laughs> all exhausted. <laughs> wrong time. My legs on dead. Manuel was making fun of me earlier because I was saying it over and over. But this is the last day of nice weather, which I think I think that's the reason why so many people were out today and everyone looks so happy. Yeah, from here on out, it is seasonal depression. So it was so good that we got to like squeeze this in right before that. I know that we're gonna remember this forever. If we never do it again, we're gonna be like. That Remember one that one time that we walked all throughout Manhattan. Hopefully we get to do this again and walk like through a different path. It's like honestly you could do this a million times and see so many different things in different neighborhoods. I'm so happy that Manuel uh, did this with me. <laughs> Literally yesterday I was like this is what we're doing. Okay we're making a video we're gonna walk all throughout Manhattan. He was like no questions asked I'm coming with you. So I'm so glad he was down to do it with me. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that if you live here or if you ever come to visit that this encourages you to do the same thing because you gotta get the calorie burn and also the experience is really fun. Make sure you're subscribed right now. Now let's walk home. <laughs> yeah, now let's go up and down the stairs in the subway to go <laughs> home. <laughs> Goodbye.